Hi, I'm Tasha from fitnessfunder.com and today I've got your no equipment total body strength circuit with core finisher. We have a four minute warm up, workouts about 10 minutes long and your cool down is about four minutes. For equipment today, all you need is a mat. I'll show you some modifications along the way. Let's go ahead and get started warm up. Warm up is four minutes long, 30 seconds for exercise, no rest between exercises and no repeats. We will start in less than 10 seconds with hip openers, balancing on one leg to the next, bringing that leg up in and out and then out and in. We'll alternate. Okay, to leg any leg in, out, out, in, starting to lubricate those joints. This is a relatively quick workout. So we're gonna hop into things pretty quickly, but before you know it, you're done. It's a great add-on or it's a great standalone for days where you want to move and you want to feel slightly challenged or moderately challenged, but not like spread across the floor exhausted. We go into our halfway pulse squats. We're going to take those hands behind the ears. Feet a little bit wider than the hip distance, tickle the ears. We come down all the way, halfway up, down all the way again, and up. work within your range of motion. It is warm up, so maybe we're not ready to sink as low that's okay. We got some squats and lunges in that main circuit. So we want to make sure we are prepared. Keep your shoulders down and away from the ears. Get into your rhythm with the breath. Inchworm for shoulder taps next. Take it to the edge of your space. A little bend in those knees. Walk it out. Tap, tap. Right to left. Left to right. Walk it back. Bend the knees even further if you need a little extra assistance or those hamstrings aren't ready for that stretch. Try to keep those hips from rocking and breathe it out. We're going to hold a full plank down here next. Tucking those hips under, squeezing those quads, staying here. Feet can come in a little bit closer. Let's really challenge the core to warm up. Tuck the hips under, wrist elbows, shoulder, straight line, head, natural extension of the spine, pull those shoulder blades down slightly back, squeeze the quads. Yeah, there's a lot going on. We're going to pop it back up, forward lunges, overhead reach every time you come into that forward lunge. A little balance work. Upper step it in, palms will face, step it forward, arms overhead. You can even follow with your gaze, if you like. Not a requirement though. Giant press through full foot of whatever leg is in front. Lateral shuffle on deck. Nothing crazy. We're just moving side to side, mid tempo. Little bend in those knees. Just a little shuffle. This is just to get the heart rate up. We don't have any cardio forward moves in this workout, but you still gotta be warm. Heart rate still needs to be elevated to do work. Stay low. If you can get a little lower, move a little quicker. It's cool. Jump rope on deck. Turning out those arms, hopping gently towards the balls of the feet. We're also including some hopping motions because we have a move where you gotta move a little quicker. Still more strength forward move, but your muscles have to react with the quickness. Ooh, top half squat jumps. You're not gonna sink it down as low. Top half of your range of motion, little hop. Oh, this is cute. Land softly, listen to your footfalls. Are you absorbing the shock in your muscles or the joints? You want mostly muscles. You can take that hop out, of course. Top half blast off squat. Just focus on range of motion. Warm up is done. We go into our main circuit. We're going to do one round of the circuit before a water break, the second afterwards. Six exercises, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Let's get going. Reset the clock. We start 
in 10 seconds with pulsing lateral squats. I'm gonna challenge you to stay low for the whole duration of that 30 seconds. Sink it down, left, center, right, center. This is all we're doing. 30 seconds is just enough to start to feel that burn for those muscles engaged to the point where you wanna take a break. But you don't have to. Stick with it, chest up and open. Sink lower if you can. You get a quick 10 second shake out. Just like that, we're like almost done. Forward lunge with a clap. Right leg goes forward, press through that full foot. Clap, catch it. Listen to your footfalls. So we lunge, catch, catch, clap, catch. I'm not going to clap super loud. Nobody wants to hear that. If you hate this option, straight up and down. I encourage you to reach overhead. That'll get your heart rate up. This just ensures that you actually lunge deep enough. Catch it. Catch it. What we do on the right, we do on the left. Get your heart rate up a little bit. I know. This is that move I was talking about. Left leg forward. Sometimes it takes me a couple rounds to get in the zone. I'm never standing fully vertical. If you want to, you can. It's just a long drop down and you're getting a break. I want a little more core engagement. Try to find that balance. We're coming to the floor next on the belly. Hand release push up with a back extension. So you're going to start at the top, release those hands from the ground, back extension. Release it down, hands come up, head, chest, and shoulders lift, hands underneath the shoulders, press it up, repeat. You can drop to your knees for that push up. Notice I am not coming super far off the ground. I'm working in my range of motion. And I'm doing it slowly. Strength. Doesn't have to go fast. We're going to go into our plank shoulder tap. So we have a little practice in warm up. The wider the feet, the more stable the base. Wide feet if you like. Tapping opposite shoulder. Keeping hips squared off to the ground. Try to keep them from rocking. Not going for speed. Stability and control. I've already got some sweat forming. I hope you do too. Your option, please, if you need to, take it right above the knee or on an inclined surface. One more move before we get our water break. This is quick. Upright bicycle. You're going to sit up nice and tall. Shoulder, opposite knee. Take all those ears, lean it back. Just as you would in a regular bicycle. We're upright though. Your option, take it to your regular bicycle where you're laying flat on the ground. You can also put the feet down in between. So you could be here or feet down and lift from here. Okay? Keep that in mind for next round. So quick. Take a quick water break. Press that pause button if you need a little extra time. We got one more round of that. And then a two minute plank core finisher. See you soon. Welcome back from your water break. As I said, super quick workout. We're going into round two of our main circuit. Without further ado, we start in less than 10 seconds with that pulsing lateral squat. Sit lower, move a little faster. We're super warm now. Center, left, center, right. Stick with it, keeping constant muscle contraction. This is our time under tension. 
But you also have some time under tension for that forward lunge with the clap. So I'm not letting you stand all the way up. Well, I'm encouraging you not to. I don't know what you're actually doing. A couple more seconds. Stay there. And just when you're about to feel that burn, you get a break. Forward lunge with the clap. Right leg. Deep breath in. Exhale. Go for it. Last round of everything. It's super quick. As you decelerate, you are catching that lunge, glutes, engaged core, keeping you upright. Five seconds. Left side. I said that with such a happiness. Let's switch. Feel the heart rate come up. So this move kind of doubles. It's a little bit of cardio, I know. Heart's working hard. You can always slow it down. You don't have to move that quickly. You can land in between the reps. Hand release push up, back extension. That's like, let me tell you how I really feel. Slow lower, with control, release, lift, back down, core tuck under. Well, I should say pelvis. The press off from the ground is tough. So good for training you on your push ups, though. Full plank shoulder taps. Two more moves. Sweat. Control it. Try if you want. Bring those feet together. Notice the difference. How much harder it is to keep from swiveling. You want to make it even harder. Pause on each tap. Just giving you options. Not a requirement. Upright bicycle. Last 30 seconds of this main circuit. Lean back. Sorry, I should start you off. Lean back and go. It's a very sloppy entry for me. It's kind of fell into the move. Aim chest and shoulder for opposite knee. Not the elbow. Five seconds. Wonderful. Two minute finisher. Let me use my mat for this. We are going between a full plank and a forearm plank. We're going to ladder up, counting five reps of two. So we start with two, then we go to four, six, eight, and so forth. As far up as you can get in two minutes. And your full plank, you're going to give me a Spider Man. And it's total reps. So same side, knee, same side, elbow, one, two. And then you'll come down to your forearms. Leg lifts, one, two, back up. So yeah, you're completing an up-down, four reps, Spider-Man, and then four reps, leg lifts. Two minutes to get as far up the ladder as you can. And then we got cool down. We start in 10 seconds. Start with our full plank, two reps, Spider-Man. Drop to the knees if you need to. Same side, same side, that was two. I come down, down, straight up, heel to ceiling, heel to ceiling, hand under, now it's four, one, two, three, four, I come down, one, two, three, four, trying to switch my leading arm ever so often.
this gets tiring pretty quickly. Make sure legs lower with control. Come on eight and take a break. I have no shame in taking a break. The sweat is pouring. Okay, I'm back up. We got about a minute left, so we're about halfway. I bet you heard how hard I hit my elbow. Holy smokes. I'm going to ride the time. Take your breaks as needed. We got about 30 seconds left. Try to get through my round of 10. Holy smokes. Oh, okay. 10 seconds to get as far as I can. Right at the buzzer. I made it through out of 10. How'd you do? Hopefully well. Hopefully I'm happy. I'm just going to move this out the way. You can keep your mat. I just don't feel like I'm leaving it. Stay where you are. Quick. About four minute cool down. About 30 seconds for a stretch. Just holding myself accountable to our time. Go ahead, take those feet, these knees rather, nice and wide. Heels can come behind you. Push your boots towards your heels, hands out ahead of you. Lower the chest down, child's pose. That should feel so good. You actually get to stay on your mat or on the floor or the cool down. Press the glutes towards your heels, arms out ahead of you. Nice long stretch. One more inhale and exhale. Pop it up, quadruped, knees under hips, hands right underneath those shoulders. Cat cow, exhale, chin to chest, arch it out. Inhale, belly lowers, gentle gaze up. Flowing through at your own pace. Nicely done. You're pouring sweat. It could also be that it's getting hot in here. I did film another workout before this. All the lights. And pause here. Half pigeon. So the easiest way to do this, come up into your full plank. Drive that right knee between the space of your right and left arm. And then sink it down. Find your spacing that works for you. You can get your shin perpendicular to the rest of your body. Fantastic. I cannot. This is good for me. You can even lower chest towards the ground. You want to feel it. Meet your glutes, outer hips. Make it work for you. Come up out of that. We're just going to switch. Right leg back. Invite the left forward. Oh, pop, pop, pop. A lot of cracking on this side. So before I started filming, I was trying to get this hip to pop for like 10 minutes. Finally did it. Feels so good. Don't worry, it doesn't hurt. It's just pressure. It's an air bubble in the snow good fluid. That's what we're going to say. And release. Sit forward. You can take those feet out ahead of you and sit crisscross. Be comfy for you. Pat yourself on the back, right arm, press the bottom below the elbow, tricep extension for those hand release push ups and holding yourself in plank position. Triceps assist throughout all of those moves. And release. Let's switch. Left arm up and press. Try to keep the shoulder away from those ears. Relax into it. That's why I say find a nice comfy seated position. Yeah, my knees are like towards the sky. My hips are very inflexible, so this feels good to me, even though it looks pretty sad. Let it go. 
So open up the chest. Fingertips face away from the body. Press the chest in between those shoulders. Press through the palms of those hands. Give yourself some leverage. Open it up. A little nice stretch again for any kind of pushing motion. Our hand release push-ups, our plank shoulder taps, our ladder up series at the end. That was special really fast. And release. Let's hug the tree. Sit up nice and tall. Bring your hips forward. Round out the spine, chin to chest. And release. You could actually just use your body weight and roll back. Feel that separation in the shoulder blades. And rock the head side to side very gently. Feels so good. Deep breath. And exhale. Let it out. Slowly come out of that. Let's take our one last deep breath. Inhale, reach up towards the ceiling or the sky. And then exhale. Let it out. Nicely done. That was super quick. I thank you for joining me. Once again, my name is Tasha. I hope I get to see you again really soon. Workout complete. I need water. That's what you get when you have sinus problems. <laughs>